What's up, guys? Welcome back. You know, I heard all sorts of things about this game, VR Invaders, and uh, I figured I'd give it a try. It's gonna be a short live stream. I'm not gonna spend too much time because I got some things I gotta do tonight. But uh, for whatever's worth, we're gonna go ahead and try this out. Uh, by the way, a couple of things I wanna say. If you have PlayStation VR, do yourself a favor. Your PlayStation camera, make sure you put that camera as high as possible, facing down. Like, like as, far, as, as, as high as possible, like to the ceiling. Trust me, you will have much better range. You see like right now with this gun? So, and this shield, you see the range I got moving? Pulling it back in, pulling it back out, so definitely put your PlayStation camera as high as possible. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's do this really quick. It's a shoot 'em up game, pretty much. There is another shoot 'em up game called uh, Mortal Blitz. It's not bad. What but I the think this hell? is I think this, this is a bit look better. Like an art project. More like some damn robot invasion. How do you reload? Hold on. Where's the reload? Hold on. Ah, anyway, we'll figure out how to reload. I'm pressing all the buttons. I'm not sure right now which one reloads, which one doesn't. I like the fact that you're using a shield and a gun at the same time. This is pretty cool, man. Nice. Oh, and I have two guns. Dual guns. Nice. Sweet. Ness, is this some kind of joke? Did you bugger gave me a gun and a shield for crying out loud? Do I seem like a joker, Thomas? Not that I'm complaining. A swarm of drones tried to disconnect me. You know, Frank from PSVR channel, he was right actually, this is pretty cool. It's definitely better than Mortal Blitz, man, I like this. It's much more fluid, more responsive. But keep in mind, guys, to truly appreciate PlayStation VR, make sure that you're seven feet away from your camera, and also make sure that your camera is facing as high as possible to the ceiling. Trust me. Looks like Alice messed around with Imagine's protection code. So we've it got gives you better range. You see the range I'm getting right now? And you see that? Much loved celebrity, it's so more to be uh, immersive. Because the last thing you want on your VR game is to have that. Why can't the kids play with matches during regular business hours and let me have some well deserved sleep? To have that lag, you know, that lag between you moving your uh, controller or in this case, a shield and a gun. You want to have that fluidity, and if you properly position your camera, you will have that fluidity with PlayStation VR. Okay, let me retry. You see what I'm saying? See, I can be a drummer now. You know, I might do a video one time just to show you guys how to properly get enough space in your room and how to uh, properly position the VR PlayStation camera so you can have the best possible... Which has better Oculus Rift or PSVR? Well, Oculus Rift, obviously can take a high resolution and you have more movements of the range you know with PlayStation VR you're limited to how far can you move see for example if I stand up look what happens like if I go a little bit further I mean I still have that range but I can only go as far as I can like yeah I cannot go any farther than this you know and on the Oculus Rift you have a high resolution so that helps as well high resolution plus there's more simulation games that they have you can go on the eye racing and do that as well you can use on 
X-Plane 11, you can fly... I mean, there's a lot of simulations on PC, so there's a range of uh, VR games on Oculus Rift. There's a truckload of VR games on Oculus Rift. But there's something that Oculus Rift doesn't have, and that's an exclusive PlayStation VR games that Oculus Rift doesn't have. So that's what Sony is hoping for, they'll be able to achieve. Um, I mean, even Frank... Uh, PlayStation VR, Frank, even he what said... What is the PSVR resolution? Uh, it's the uh, 1920 by 1080. Uh, but here's the trick. On PlayStation VR, the limit on AMOLED screen, on this OLED, I'm sorry, OLED screen, this is a OLED screen that's inside, so it's much better for your eyes to have an OLED screen. Uh, it's 1920 by 1080. However... However, it is possible to downscale, let's say, uh, 2560 by uh, 1440 to fit in on that 1080 screen, meaning downscaling that 2560 by 1440 inside a 1080p on each eye, the, the pixels and quality will look a little bit better. However, the reason... Wadip G. The reason Everyone why... subscribe to RBR Short Films 1.3. He does fan films no hate. The only reason why PlayStation VR doesn't want to do any high resolution because they want to keep that 120 frames per second. They want to keep that fluidity going. And that's fine, honestly. I mean, 1080 really is, okay. is Christmas. The bar uh, Don't worry, girl. Uh, I'm let's your do diver this again. I'm coming to the rescue. But you see how much of a range I have right now? freedom of range because I have my camera positioned way up on the top on the ceiling and when you do that then your PlayStation Move and your PlayStation VR headset has more range to move. You see how I'm like moving left and right like this. I'm swaving right, I'm swaving left. I can do I can do like like a boxing match like this, you know, protect myself, the guard and you know, it's, it gives you much range of of freedom to move around. Now, is it like a smooth uh, range? It's not like a smooth range because remember, they're using the... Everyone subscribe to RBR Short Films 13. I'm trying to help him get 1000 subscribers. He does fan films. How does movies look on PSVR compared to the Rift Pro movies? What the hell? Hold on. This doesn't look like an art project. More like some damn robot invasion. You see? But I'm definitely digging uh, this game so far. I like this. Uh... It just looks much better to me than uh, Mortal Blitz, honestly. Mortal Blitz, it was just too... How do I say it? Too laggy, man. That's the one Ness, thing I noticed about the... Is this the, some uh, kind of joke? Did you bugger gave me a gun and a shield for crying out loud? Do I seem like a joker, Tom? VR invaders Not are more... Um, a swarm of drones responsive. To That's the word I'm trying to use. You see? See how responsive that shit is? Not I'm like... VR content for VR headsets. Ah... Uh, that's a double-edged sword, man. It depends. It depends how you look at it. You know, if you have every VR headset available, then trust me, there's plenty of content. Looks also, like you have to remember, every region has a different content. So, In Japan, there's more VR content than the United States. Europe has more different so content than the United States. Careful. Depends on the region you're living in, man. No hate, I'm trying to help him get subscribers. Why can't the kids play with matches during regular business hours and let me have some well-deserved sleep? Oh shit. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Uh, speaking of subscribing, if you guys are into VR and you would like to know everything about the VR, 
Make sure you go uh, subscribe if to PlayStation VR Frank, the wise ourself, guy. We'll have her in uh, he does an excellent we job her or giving her. you all the information about the VR. VR the instead of local Someone motion. in this rat hole has to plan ahead. You know what? The only way... Here's the thing. The best way... It's hard to review a VR. All I can tell you is you have to try it out for yourself. Uh, and then you gotta see if this is something you, you might enjoy. Because everyone will have a different experience with VR. You might get sick doing this. I don't know. You might have a headache. You might have bad sinuses. I don't know what your deal is, man. Or how... Everyone's different. Everyone has different health issues. So, VR is not for everyone. Here's the thing. It's not for everyone. Everyone has uh, different weaknesses and whatnot. So my advice is do a little demo, go, go somewhere or to your friend's house who has a VR, try it out, see if you like it, see if this is something that you might want to do. Look good in VR Speaking of plans, I've got our Listen man, movies look awesome on, on VR headset. Uh, I use my VR headsets for movies. Let me put my name here, Mr. Four Caps Killer. I use my VR headset for movies and there's a reason why I'm watching it with a PlayStation VR headset because PlayStation mm -hmm. VR headset has a OLED uh, lenses inside OLED screen inside and when you choose a large screen to watch your movies from a 4k blu-ray player UBP X800 even though that 4k is gonna be downscaled to 1080 it still looks clear and well, another cool feature about the UBPX800 and connecting the PlayStation VR to UBPX800, there's a HDR slider. Now keep in mind, this is not a real HDR. It's just um, an effect HDR slider that they use on projectors and other stuff. And when you connect this to your UBPX800 Sony 4K player, the movies will look as if you're like in a movie theater sitting on the top row looking up and down left and right and the experience just will be as if you're like in a movie theater so you you guys can try it out i mean i definitely recommend if you have a sony ubpx 800 and you have a playstation vr hook it up to uh, sony ubpx 800 all right mr 4k here we go mr 4k up Mr. 4KU, here we go. <laughs> Mr. 4KU, that's good. Let's confirm this. All right, next. Only got one star. How dare I? How dare I suck I this badly? I want the IMAX feel when watching movies. Actually, that is possible with this VR headset. Really, I'm not kidding. Make sure you select the large screen on your PlayStation VR device on your user interface menu on a PlayStation 4. Choose a large screen. And also make sure you're sitting seven feet away from your camera. Put your camera way up on the top. And I'm telling you, you're gonna have a true immersive cinema-like experience. The only thing that's gonna be missing is popcorn. You can buy some popcorn, make it sit there, make it smell put some pair of headsets like really good uh, you know stereo headsets that like a really good and like Sennheisers or something and I'm telling you man you're gonna feel like you're in the movie theater try it out guys you know Sorry, I didn't understand the by the way that's uh, my Amazon Echo shit <laughs> good you've made it to our clients avatar Get ready for another attack from the software security. Here we go. Don't worry. I'll reboot our golden girl faster than you can say. Thomas Hall is a wonderful diver, and I'm secretly in love with him. Is this all just a game for you, Thomas? The Ice you Queen's got no holiday spirit. In VR. Okay, I can keep it professional. Uh, man, the good movie for VR. Do yourself a favor and go get the Avatar 3D Blu-ray. I'm telling you, man, that thing looks sick on uh, PlayStation VR. Get the Avatar Limited Edition 3D Blu-ray and pop it in your PlayStation 4. 
Pro, or you can pop it in your uh, Sony UBPX800. And I'm telling you, man, it's amazing. Another great one, it's Jurassic World. You can try that as well. That looks great. Batman v Superman looks great. I try that. X-Men Apocalypse, I try that as well. Looks great. Remember, X-Men Apocalypse 4K Blu-ray will be downscaled to, like to 1080p. Their metal However, there is a HDR you know slider effect that you can use. You see, More this is another reason why I'm recommending this. Sony UBP X800, guys. Because of such a compatibility with this uh, PlayStation VR that you can use on that player. And everything I say here, you guys can try it out. You don't have to say, oh, he's just talking bullshit. Hey you know man, what? I'm back. You guys can Sorry try it out. I haven't been on your other live streams. Nah, it's okay, man. Don't worry about it. This is a short live stream. It's not going to be a huge live stream. I'm just kind of testing this game out. See how it is. Because I got some things I got to do tonight. Um, I've been the most senior diver ever since poor Sam got in that coma. Here but nobody go. seems to appreciate me. Oh, like you know about being stuck on the career ladder. Why Actually, you gave Oculus with? a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, I don't want to invest too much into a PC right now because of uh, Oculus Rift, you know. And I don't know if Oculus Rift really is gonna be, you know, that much of a future proof. You know what I mean? Because um, right now, Oculus Rift, it's not really selling that well. I don't know if you guys heard, they're already having some problems with the Facebook and, you know, the whole contract deal. It's not, eh. They're, let's just say Oculus Rift, it, it, it didn't have a smooth ride so far. It's been a very bumpy ride. Uh, even Lucky knows that. Uh, Lucky Palmer, is that his name? Yeah. The guy who created the Oculus. Uh, this whole technology came from him. So I don't want to invest <clears throat> into something that I know it's I don't know if it's gonna be future proof or if it's gonna be supported anymore or if the the PC is gonna be supported anymore. Who knows what will happen to Oculus? And uh, not not many people are buying it. If you go to Best Buy, if you go to anywhere else out there, you will see there's a truckload, truckload of uh, Oculus Rift for you to buy. There's so many available, man. Like, honestly, they're like just sitting there. But the problem is this. It's hard. It's a tough sell. When you have such high uh, needs for, for, the, for the headset to run, I mean, the specs are ridiculous. You can't run it uh, unless you have like a fourth generation i5 processor or fourth generation i7 processor, at least eight gigs of memory RAM, uh, at least GTX 970 or, or 1060, 1070, 1080. So you, you gotta have like, first of all, you gotta spend a lot of money on the PC. That's the big downfall right there. It's not bad enough you have to spend 15 freaking hundred dollars on the PC. Well, should I sell my Oculus Rift for a PSVR? Everyone subscribe to RBR Short Films 13. He does fan films. I don't know. I don't know if you want to sell it, man. Uh, if you already have a don't good worry. PC, Tell then I don't know. Golden man. Girl faster than you can say. Thomas Hall is a wonderful diver, and I'm secretly in love with him. Is this all just a game for you, Thomas? The Ice Queen's got no holiday spirit. <laughs> okay. And I don't know if you guys remember, uh, there was a video I did. You guys have to go way back last year of uh, September or October. Early October, I think. Might have been October 7th, whatever. Right before this VR headset was released. I said the reason why Sony... Punisher. Hey, how you doing, man? I said the reason why PlayStation VR is going to sell well is because of convenience, okay? Convenience is a lot of people have PlayStation 4s, okay? And all they have to do is spend $400 to get this VR headset, all right? Nobody wants to spend thousands of dollars on some beefy PC, and then hopefully it works, it, you know, 
Everyone subscribe to RBR Short Films 1-3. I'm beginning to like shooting sci-fi drones in their metal faces. Do you know how much money Wired Industry loses every time you burn out one of your brain damage prevention safeguards? More than my monthly salary, I'll bet. There we go, there we go. Come on. That's it. I got this. I got it. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I'm kicking ass. I'm trying to get him to zero, zero, zero subscribers. RBR Short Films 1-3. Hey, listen, man. You're never going to get him any subscribers if you're trying so hard like that. It doesn't work that way, man. I'm just letting you know. I've been the most senior diver ever since poor Sam got in that coma, but nobody seems to appreciate me. Man, I'm kicking oh, ass right now. Like you know about being stuck on the career ladder. Oh my god, this is crazy, dude. Holy shit, this is a workout, man. God damn. Get HJM to the chopper 4K. Get into the chopper now, you bastards. All of you, get down. You and your cabin minister, you set us up with all your droids and bullshit. <laughs> I'm a terminator. I'm going to terminate all of you, you bastards. Is he going to be coming back for a new Terminator, man? What's up? What's going on? You know, Nessie, I think I'll need a raise after we get our sleeping beauty out of you. Oh, my God. This is relentless shit. Fill out a formal request, and we'll consider it. Oh, shit. God damn. This game, it's a really a workout, dude. And stop calling me that. I've warned you a hundred times. This is actually pretty badass. That's how you do it. Watch out for that, for that Superman beam. Oh shit, I got screwed by a Superman beam. Let's retry. This is tough, dude. By the way, this game was recommended to me by VR Frank, PlayStation VR Frank. Uh, check him out, man. He's a, he's a wise guy. He's pretty cool, man. Uh, if you are into PlayStation VR, like he's your like number one source of all the information for PlayStation VR. The guy's on point. Uh, he gives you the actual information. There's no bullshit. No, he's a pretty cool guy, man. So I, I wish him all the best. I think he will become a big star, dude. PlayStation VR, Frank. I can just see him rising up to the top, man. So yeah, check him out. Good. You've made it to our client's avatar. All right. Don't worry. I'll reboot our golden girl faster than you can say. Thomas Hall is a wonderful diver, and I'm secretly in love with him. Is this all just a game for you, Thomas? The ice yes, queen's got it is no a game. holiday so, spirit. What do you think? Of course okay. it's a game. I can keep it professional. They definitely did a pretty good job here, man. It's very responsive. The move controllers are very responsive. Uh, you know, another game I'm really looking forward to, it's the uh, Far Point, which comes out next month. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, that thing should come in with that gun. That, what you call it, uh, aim gun, VR aim gun, or whatever. But I also heard mixed reviews. People saying that... Uh, uh, he still has some glitches here and there because of uh, high graphics that it's using. So I don't know. 
we'll see. I wish that they would release a demo of that game, dude. Just let me try a demo, goddammit. I'm beginning to like shooting sci-fi drones in their metal faces. Do you know how much money Wired Industry loses every time you burn out one of your brain damage prevention safeguards? More than my monthly salary, I'll bet. Here we go, fellas. Here we go. Who's next? Who's next on the menu? That's right, bitches. That's right. Mr. Porky is gonna upscale all of you. You bastards. I'm gonna upscale you to the ground. All of you will be upscaled, you bastards. Here we go. Oh, no. They upscaled me, man. No! <laughs> oh, my God. Let's try this again. Good. All right, that's it. Don't worry. I'll reboot our golden girl faster than you can say Thomas Hall is a wonderful diver, and I'm secretly in love with him. Is this all just a game for you, Thomas? The Ice Queen's got no holiday spirit. <laughs> okay, I can keep it professional. All right. Who's next? You want some? You want some of this? Huh? Uh huh, huh. You want some of this? Here, eat on that, suck on that. There you go. Suck them apples. Oh, man of steel. I told you get out of here, you bastard, you cocksucker. <laughs> Don't mess with General Zod. That is a Superman eye that peeks out of there. With his beam. Oh shit, oh shit. No, you... Man of Steel, you bastard! Oh man, am I gonna survive this shit? Oh, what the hell happened here? Oh shit. What's going on? Oh, I'm you beginning to like Man of Steel! Their metal faces. Do you know how much money Wired Industries? Every time you burn out one of your brain damage prevention safeguards, more than my monthly salary. I'll this bet. is a great workout, guys. No kidding, man. If you want to do some workout, this is it because you're moving your entire body. You see, even when Superman is trying to get me, I'm able to use my shield, my General Zod shield. There you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, don't tell me I died. Let's go to the menu. Chapter 1. Let's go to Chapter 2, man. Let's see how the Chapter 3 is. Oh, you have to unlock them. Let's go to Fire Range. Let's just, like, uh, do some uh, shooting on a Fire Range. Let's train. So should you get this game or not? Oh yeah, man, this, this is a lot of fun. You're definitely gonna have a lot of fun with this game. Jesus. You're definitely gonna have some fun. <laughs> because I'm a maniac. Here we go. <laughs> Let's retry this shit. Here we go. Come to Papa. Who's next? You can bastard. You see a Call of Duty VR in future 4K. Oh yeah, man, definitely I can see that happening. But that'll happen like in Maybe second generation or third generation VR. I can see that happening. You know, once they're able to get the uh, higher resolution, higher frame rates, and higher textures on the graphics, I can see that happening. But that shit's gonna be bananas, man. You guys have to remember, Scorpio Xbox will be able to take a full potential of uh, their VR, man, because that thing is very powerful. Man, I cannot wait for the, uh, I gotta tell you guys, I, I can't wait for that E3 show. I just want to see 
if in fact that's true if they're gonna do four hundred dollars for the uh core base xbox uh scorpio look even if it's 500 gigabytes i don't give a shit 400 dollars take my money uh i already have external hard drive five terabytes so i'm not worried about that you know hopefully they will give that option because if they do that man that's just but guys either way if you don't pre-order scorpio you can forget about november you can forget about december you can forget about january 2018 maybe in april you are lucky to get one so if you want to have it in uh, this this holiday season man you definitely want to pre-order that shit i'm just saying here we go you bastards i'm gonna kill you all of you you sons of bitches you you sucker die die You want ugly motherfuckers, all of you, you bastards, you terminators, I'm the real terminator, not you, you, you sissy droids, you sissy milky droids, I'll kill ya. <laughs> god damn! Oh my god! Holy shit! Holy butthole of Zeus! Damn! Let's go to the menu, man. Story mode on. Story mode off. Uh, look, I'm on a normal, and it's still hard. Imagine if I went to the like hard and insane. That would be crazy. Uh, let me let me check something out really quick. Let me see. All right, let's do one more. Let's do one more, guys, and then uh, that's it. I can see Scorpio pre-order selling out quick. Oh yeah, dude, that's. That's not even for the debate. Everybody knows that thing will be selling like crazy, man. You know, it's going to be a lot of craziness going on when uh, Scorpio launches in November, man. All kinds of craziness is going to be happening, you know. Just like every other launch of a console, man. There's always some kind of craziness. Especially since they're going to be releasing that console right around... Uh, Thanksgiving holiday season, man. That's like the peak of the holiday season. The worst, I mean, the greatest time to be selling shit, but the worst time to be buying it because, man, it's gonna be a war zone trying to get into a fucking store and buy that shit, man. You know, people are crazy. They do crazy shit, man. People are fucking nuts. They're nuts. They're fucking nuts. All right, let's do this. Hey, let's try insane. Let's see this shit. Let's try this. I'm gonna go with the insane. Let's see how what I can do here really quick. Oh my god, this is insane. This shit is insane. Look at me. Look at me go. Look at this. Check this out, man. That's right, bitches. That's right. I can stop the time and I can kill ya. I can destroy ya! That's right. Dude, you hit once you die. I always get stuff delivered, lol. Me too, man. Why the hell would you- I don't get it, like, this is so stupid, man. Like, why in the hell? Why in the name of... Zeus's or Prometheus's butthole? Would you ever want to stand in line for a day and a half when you can just have the uh, UPS guy bring it to you? Or FedEx guy for that matter, doesn't matter. So why in the hell would you wait there in line? Why? Alright, let's do one more. Let's do this, fellas. This shit is hard. This is a hard game. Here we go. Get him, get him, get him, get him, boys! Nice. 
get them suckers. This is insanity, man. I'm, I'm doing this shit on the insanity level. This is bananas, man. Dude, you hit once, you die. Nah, this is crazy, dude. This, this shit is insane. Let's go to the menu. Let's do it on the hard. Let's see how the hard is really quick. Let's do a survival. Here we go. Alright, this is going to be my last uh, gameplay here for tonight. So, just letting you know, guys. Because I got things I got to do. This shit is hard. This game will definitely give you a workout, man. I'm not kidding, dude. Alright, man. I guess I'm doing good. So far. On a hard level. Shit, not bad, man. For a hard level. Wave 2. Here we go. Wish me luck. Oh my god, oh my god, come on. Get him, get him, boys. Get him, get him. That's right, bitches. Gotcha. Alright, I guess did pretty good. Wave survived. 4,450 points. Alright. Alright, let's do one more really quick. This is the last one. Let's do it. Here we go. Come on, come on. Die, you bastards. By the way, this is very addictive, man. You could you could be playing this shit forever, man. Oh, now I'm fucked. That's it, man. Now it's over now. Ooh, we got some laters. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, where you at? Oh, there you are. Done. Alright, who's next? Wave two, come on. Done. I like that you can pause the time. This is so cool, dude. I like that. I like that idea. Oh my god. This is insane. Alright, come on. Come on, you bitches. Bring it on. Bring it on. I don't care. I'll kill all of you. Every single one of you droids. Die. Because you're in my jungle now. Alright, actually I'm doing pretty good, not bad. I've survived the third wave, didn't I? Hopefully. Here we go. I'm doing this on the hard, by the way. So not bad. Oh yeah, this is much better than the uh, Mortal Blitz, man. This thing, it's more responsive than a Mortal Blitz, man. It's just much better. Starbot Arena, it's okay, but they're having some issues with the update, with the multiplayer, man. I'm still waiting for them to fix the multiplayer, goddammit. So. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Survive the third wave, dude. You can do it. Oh my god, am I gonna survive the third wave? Nah, I didn't. But I did okay, I got 15,000 points. Alright. Well, there you have it, guys. I gotta get going. This was just a little short live stream demo I wanted to show you guys. I might do some tomorrow. I might do uh, Hero Cades. There's another VR game. Uh, it has a bunch of games within the uh, collection. So we'll try that out.
It's kind of like a PlayStation VR experience, except it's a cheaper version of the arcade VR games. What basically is it's a bunch of arcade-like games. Graphically, they're not like super great, but it gives you a nice uh, cheap 15 bucks uh, variety of different games in one package. So we'll check that out tomorrow. Sony need to make light gun controllers made for holiday season. I think they... later alligator. All right, brother. I think they'll do that. I think they're already working that on the uh, far point. But I think we might see more controllers. We might we might see more of PlayStation VR uh, on this E3 show. What they're working on and some stuff they might make for it. You know certain uh, accessories that will come in with the uh, VR, PlayStation VR, because there's more and more people having VR in the homes, you know, there's a lot of people, there's millions and millions of people that have the VR headsets. So, PlayStation VR was a success, as I said it would be. Remember, if you guys go back to my first video in October 4th, October 5th, might have been October 7th, I clearly said that uh, PlayStation VR will be a great success because uh, of the pricing and convenience. And so far, it's doing great. Yeah. All right, guys. So, see you tomorrow. Take care. Have a good one. And thank you all for the support. Thank you all for watching my videos. I really do appreciate that. And uh, peace and all that good stuff. And just have fun, man. Live your life. Enjoy every minute of it. And if, if you have a shitty day, fuck it, dude. Just uh, listen to some music and let go. Lose yourself, man. Because only when I lose myself, I feel like I am in the right place. All right, guys. Have a good one. <laughs>